In this JalView online training video, I will consider how to run protein disorder predictions in JalView. The predictor generates both sequence features and sequence associated alignment annotation rows. To illustrate, I shall load into Lucan 7 alignment using the URL on the screen. The link is also in the notes below. Protein disorder predictors are accessed from the Web Service drop down menu in the alignment window by selecting the Protein Disorder sub menu. There are a variety of protein disorder prediction services available in JalView. They generate both sequence annotation tracks and alignment annotation tracks. Dissemble is a set of machine learning based predictors trained to recognize disorder related annotations that are associated with the PDB structures. Globplot predicts natively unstructured regions and regions of globularity. IUPRED employs an empirical model to predict regions that lack well-defined 3D structure under native conditions. JRON predicts regions of disorder in sequences based on their local similarity with a gold standard set of disordered protein sequences. For more details on the protein disorder predictors, we recommend you visit their websites using the links shown on the screen or consult the JavaView online documentation. To run the Dissemble Disorder Predictor, I go to the Web Service drop-down menu, select the Protein Disorder sub-menu, and click on the Dissemble with Defaults option. On completion, prediction annotation rows appear in the annotation panel below the alignment. The Remark 465 annotation associated with human, pig, and rat interleukin 7 sequences are present. Placing the mouse on the annotation row opens a tooltip. In this case, it gives the Remark 465 scores for the residue. The Remark 465 metrics are contained in the PDB entry. They mark regions where the coordinates in the X-ray structures are missing. These regions are often associated with protein disorder. The protein disorder prediction also generates features. These can be displayed on the alignment if in the View menu the Show Sequence Features option is on. The appearance of features can be altered by going to the View menu and selecting Feature Settings. This opens a Sequence Features Settings dialog box. The Dissemble prediction has generated three features. Remark 465 relates to the missing coordinates in the X-ray structure. Coils predict the location of coils and loops. Hot loops are a subsection of coils whose loops have a high degree of mobility. Features at the top of the list will lie on top and thus hide features that lie below them in the list. So it may be desirable to swap their ordering. This is achieved by clicking on the feature type and dragging it to the location required. The Optimize Order button will reorder the features based on the average length of each feature type. Features can be hidden by unticking the display boxes. The color of features can be changed by clicking on the color box this opens a dialog box and another color can be selected. If I load a 3D structure of interleukin 7 from the PDB, these features can be mapped onto the 3D structure. Let us run the other protein disorder predictors. J1. IUPRED and Globplot. New annotation rows appear in the annotation panel. Several new features are now available in the Sequence Feature Settings dialog box. I can switch the features from each predictor on and off. There is another way to use the results from the predictors to color structures and alignments. First, I must switch off the feature colors on the alignment by going to the View menu and toggling the Show Sequence Features off. Now I can color the sequences based on annotation if I go to the Color menu and select By Annotation. In the dialog box that opens, I select the required annotation. In this example, the long disordered annotation generated from the rat IU pred prediction of interleukin 7 is used.
For more information, please look at our user manual and the online documentation available at www.jalview.org.